Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Jack with Sioux Falls Dent Repair. Today we're working on this 2020 Hyundai Defender here. This is actually a Elantra. We are fixing some damage in the front fender here. So, notice the damage is in a body line. And this is on a brand new car. Oh, 2020 actually. As you can see, it's got a little bit of buckling down here at the bottom edge here where it's actually bowed out a little bit. Um, one thing that was actually interesting on this one um, was the customer actually had a mechanic friend uh, look at it and actually uh, try to push some of the damage out. So we're not exactly sure as far as how it was um, originally, but um, it has been pushed on. Um, now, thankfully, they were actually um, very good about doing very minimal. So we normally or never would advise anybody to try pushing damage out themselves. But um, the one thing that was positive here is that they, they did do a minor push on it, but they didn't cause any kind of push marks or anything like that. The guy literally took his hand and pushed on the backside um, and just kind of got the bulk of the dent out. So luckily there was no damage caused from a uh, attempted repair. So, um, so anyway, so this is kind of what we're looking at working on today here. Um, I'll go ahead and get the uh, PDR light here. Actually put up here for you. So you can see as far as how it looks in our repair process. So. so as you can see, there's a little divot on the edge here. This was probably all put, so the guy probably got most of his hand about right there. You can see where kind of that's where the high spot is. Um, and then I'm gonna have to work out all this. Oops. So anyways, let's figure I show you as far as what we are working on today. And just the difference you can see with the paintless damage repair light, as far as how big a damage that looks. So this damage here actually measured out, um, it actually measured out at a four inch dent on a body line. And then in order to actually, let me get this light turned off here. Um, in order to get this damage out, um, what we're gonna actually do is go about uh, gaining access through two different points. So the fender liner, uh, the basically the, the plastic shield in here is gonna be completely taken out and pulled down, as well as uh, we're gonna end up popping the hood open. And there's actually, I already looked at for the estimate process, there's actually a hole about right here that we can get a tool in and work some of the damage through the top side. Um, another another big uh, update I did wanna talk to you guys about is actually, let me get the uh, camera turned around here. Da, 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 da. All right. So, um, I did want to talk about one more thing. Um, so kind of, I talked a couple days ago about some of the uh, business cards we've got and some of the add-on options with NFC tags. Um, we actually just received the last NFC style tag um, that we have now. Um, so basically just to give you kind of a comparison, um, and it's probably not even, you're probably not even gonna really be able to tell. Um, but basically, we've got two different versions. So these are what our NFC tags are. So these are little, little chrome looking buttons or stickers. Um, so what, what this allows us to do, so kind of reiterating on the last video that I talked about them, um, one of them, I can literally take this card or whatever card with one of these ch little chips or whatnot, if you will, on it. Um, and if you've got a newer phone that's NFC enabled, um, you can actually take it, go up to a customer's phone or anything and tap it on the phone and it'll automatically bring up some type of a link or whatever you want it to do. You can program to do a ton of different things. Um, for us right now, we've got one, uh, this one here is actually, if I tap this on a phone, it'll bring you up to our website to a contact us page, which will have all of our contact information, social media platforms, all that kind of stuff. Uh, real simple, just uh, basically a customer that comes in that's looking at just getting our information into their system. And then they've got all the uh, appropriate tags and stuff like that as far as following us on social media if they'd like to. Um, and like I said, that's what this one card is programmed for. This next one here is actually programmed to uh, bring the customer directly to a review website. So we've got it actually programmed here right now to do uh, directly to Google. Um, so it'll actually, you, if, if they're already logged in on their phone, if they've got a phone that already has, uh, is logged into a mm -hmm. Gmail account or a Google account, um, so like any Android phone for instance, or an iPhone, a lot of people have Gmail accounts as well. Um, I can literally tap this on their phone. It'll automatically pull up the exact spot that you need to leave a review. You don't even have to click on leave a review. You can literally just, it'll pull up, it'll have your information already logged in, you know, so like for myself, Jack B, or Jack Buck now, 
and then it'll have a star amount. So leave leave us a review for stars. It's not automatically picking any star rating or putting any information in. That's all on the customer's end, but it just makes it super streamlined, super simple um, because reviewers are so important for a small business like ours that we really appreciate it. Um, and then for the next card here that I've got, what this one is, this is a little bit different. It's, it's just a tiny bit bigger than the other little uh, stickers. Um, and the reason being is it holds more information. So what that means is it can automatically pull up more information or do different things because it's a different size of data limit on that card. Um, so what this one actually does is when you tap it on the phone, um, it'll actually bring up, um, would you like to add this person's contact information? So it'll have my first and last name, um, Jack Bucknell, the business, Sioux Falls Dent Repair, my email address, phone number, address to the shop location. I mean, it makes it just super, super simple. Um, so to where, like, let's say for instance, I'm going to a, um, well, it could be worked on so many different platforms, but as far as like a customer, um, if, I, if I want them to have all my information to get a hold of me next time, this will automatically put it in their phone. So the last card, it's kind of similar. This one brings you to a website with all that information. This one adds, adds uh, us to your contact information. So I'd be under your actual contact page or contact um, area or whatever. Um, so just an interesting little thing. Uh, so, um, you know, again, it's just tap and then it automatically will go, would you like to add Jack Bucknell, Sioux Falls State Repair and then phone number, um, to your, to the contact, to your contact information. Um, it's a pretty slick, um, awesome feature that it, it's kind of a mind blowing that, that cards can do these nowadays. So anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and get, uh, get this started and we'll see you, uh, if you guys want to contact us, visit our website at SiouxFallsDentRepair.com or give us a call at 605-250-1023. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.